the biggest disappointments of 2020. Uh, first off, uh, I had no hesitation. It was on a quick release holster for me when it comes to naming the biggest dud of 2020, Zoom Freak 2. Oh my God, what was Nike thinking? It's got a foam that's hard as a thousand year old gum, chewing gum, that's been stuck on a wall or something. Uh, and they keep saying they've improved the foam to make it softer. And that makes me wanna use the effort against them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the hardest heel midsole that I've felt in a long while. Uh, and the four foot zoom air, it's, it's tiny and you don't really feel it. Uh, so what is going on? And the price point actually went up. The Freak 1 actually had double zoom air in the heel you could more or less feel. Uh, and even the forefoot, even though it had no zoom bag, it feels not too distant from the Freak 2, which only had a tiny zoom on the forefoot. So there you go. Uh, maybe that's why Antanta Kumpo had a bad outing during the playoffs. Who knows? Uh, hope they rectify it in the version 2.0 or the playoff edition or the special edition or the artisan edition because this shoe is so bad. Uh, Dame 7. Um, I love the design. The design is beautiful. I love what they do with the design. Uh, I love what they attempted, but the light strike foam is a little bit denser, a little bit thicker on the heel compared to the Dame 6. The Dame 6 had a very soft light strike foam that you actually feel it working, but when you land hard on it or you step hard on it, you feel like you could, you're could you you're really closely kissing the ground because it, it flattens or bottoms out instantaneously very, very quickly. So in terms of shock absorption, it wasn't great. The light strike foam, the best balance was for the hardened force, depending on the colorway. Uh, so this light strike, they made it a little bit denser. So the heel cushioning is not bad, but it's a little bit too elevated for me. And it's as if they took everything from the forefoot and they put it on the heel. The forefoot, you feel nothing. It's especially when the, when the insole wears out, you're literally feeling like you're wearing Converse, Chuck Taylors. That's how bad the forefoot cushioning is. And the traction is just, about, just as bad, if not worse than the Dame 6, which was already not such a decent traction performer. So Adidas, you gotta do something about that. Don issue two, same problem. Traction is not excellent. It's kind of similar to Harden 4s, but certainly a bit of an improvement from Dawn Issue 1, but you could not get any worse than Dawn Issue 1 in terms of traction. Um, the cushioning is kind of similar to the, the Dame 7. I guess that's a concept that Adidas has this time. Heel cushioning is, you can feel it on a forefoot, nothing. And the heel is a little bit elevated. So yeah, design is awful. Uh, it feels like a weird um, knockoff of some other Adidas lifestyle model or Adidas regionals or those kind of models that's not a big performer I think it's one of the worst designs uh, in a basketball shoe we've seen in a long time uh, Zoom BB Next it had triple layered heel react lunar whatever it is and a four foot zoom pod but the four foot zoom pod you can't really feel it uh, the heel triple layer it just sinks down and it becomes a uh, a shortbread just it just flattens as soon as you land on it so there's no shock absorption and you feel that sinking sensation every time you're moving around in them so not ideal for basketball or casually lounging around maybe um, the traction was good though yeah traction was good <laughs> a Kyrie S2 it's not a huge departure from the Kyrie 4s if you're gonna call it a Kyrie Maybe it would be good if you put some upgrades to it. Uh, the Kyrie 4 cushioning was relatively better compared to other Kyrie models, but it's pretty much Kyrie. It's very low to the ground and before they introduce the, the Zoom tur Turbo on the forefoot. So it's basically non-cushioned, uh, but it's got the traction of the four, which can be a little bit slippery depending on what floor or what colorway you choose. Uh, 
the upper you just have that that fly trap wrap around on the on the lacing area and the Kyrie 6 heel counters it's a decent interesting looking shoe but it's not worth the price point and they certainly could have done a little better in terms of the cushioning non-existent uh, why not 04 what were they thinking they put a two layers of very small zoom air so the zoom air the the area it covers is very narrow so even if it's two layers you don't really feel it working it just feels like maybe there's something there but not really zoom and they got nothing in the heel and the heel actually feels harder than the why not zero threes so they actually made some improvements in the why not zero three SEs in terms of the density in the heel and the relative uh, plushness in the heel and then they went back to making it harder than the threes than the twos so I don't know what's going on there traction was an improvement but why couldn't they just use one of the zoom air in the heel or stick with the same zoom air unit that they've had in the twos and threes which felt good this you can't really feel it the price point went up a little bit i think i'm not too sure about that need to check um spawn low two by under armor looked great i think it's a beautiful design the micro g i thought i felt it working but it bottoms out quickly or maybe it was just the insole the outsole traction i thought it was a pretty interesting design but it actually flows in such a way that you slip on it the more you wear it the, the more the treads wear out a little bit so i had two of my friends wear it and just slide on an asphalt court so that's how bad it is last but not least it's not a basketball shoe but it's such a disappointment because it had so much promise the Air Max 2090 uh, reinterpretation updated 21st century version of the Air Max 90 it looks great it looks sleek it looks futuristic uh, but the heel they had this huge shell in the heel which just makes it a a plastic heel that completely shields you off from feeling the air cushioning on the heel and the midfoot midsole they used was actually pretty good it was soft uh, so it was EVA but it was softer than Kushlon so why did they have to imprison or lock the air air shoulder away it's very squared and angled there so you don't want to run in those 